Hello everyone. So, so far in the integration of behavior trees for the AI characters, we worked on sleeping behaviors and working behaviors. So, as you can see, these uh, NPC characters are working. Working means just resting on these chairs or moving these boxes or doing some exercises with this barbell. And when the night falls, they will go to these beds and start sleeping. Now, if I speed up the time a little bit, now the night falls. Now you see these characters, oh, it's too dark. Yeah, you can see they are coming to the beds and sleeping. Right? So, this is and when the sun rises they will wake up and again start doing the work so that's what we have done so far and the next thing remaining in integrating into the behavior trees is let me open the behavior tree this shelter part shelter means when it starts raining they should take cover inside this hut. Now I know it doesn't make sense to have these beds outside, but we can assume that we will be having the uh, beds in a game uh, inside a house. So that's why I didn't make the characters to run into these covers when they are sleeping here. So now let's see how to implement the taking shelter part so for that first uh, let's go here just like we implemented BT tasks for sleeping and work behaviors I need another BT task to take shelter so let's create a new task inside BT tasks I'll call it BT and here add event AI event receive execute AI so let's take a look at how the taking shelter part is implemented already in uh, the blueprints so here go to shelter so this is the custom event so what it does is it take all the actors with shelter interface and get one of the shelters and make the characters run to that so we can perhaps do a little bit of an improvement uh, introducing like selecting the closest shelter in case we have multiple shelters so right how should we do this we can let's go here we can get all actors with the interface interface is shelter VPS shelter. Let's implement it with a random one first. Get uh, an element. So we can get length of this array and do a random integer. So this will return a random number between 0 and this max minus 1. That means length minus one so this will give a random element is there in the inbuilt way to get random element oh yeah yeah let's use that i didn't even know that okay good so right then just like here we can get the shelter location
then we can move the control paw to the shirt let's call AI move to and this is the paw location is this and what's the target 75 let's stick to that value as the acceptance radius and then what well let's test with just this part red shirt We need to enable rainy weather. Mm -hmm. Start rainy. How long it takes to start rain? Five seconds. Okay. And I'll set the time of day a little earlier so that we will have enough time to start rainy. Let me speed up the time so you can see the sky is getting darker. Now it started raining, so they are coming to the shelter. And Let's wait until the rain stops. Yeah. Rain did stop. Are they going back? Um, I'm not sure because I didn't finish this. Yeah. Because I didn't finish the task. So they are not going back yet. So uh, how we once they go inside here, we can call finish execute with success. But uh, as long as we are still in the raining mode, this task will be called again and again so we need a way to determine if the character is already in a shelter if the character is already in a shelter we should not execute we just we should just simply wait or we can do this here we already have training dashboard key so in here we can add a variable when we be key black port key selector let's make this public now we can pass the value of this rainy blackboard key uh, is this passed by reference for oh, value I'm not really sure right anyway let's test this and see now what I'm trying to do is here let's have a delay oh, let's say five seconds and we have this blackboard key get value as bool and if this is false that means it's not raining anymore if this is false it's not raining so we can finish if it is true that means it's still raining 
so we will have to continue to wait this let me speed up so it will quickly start ready yeah they are coming to the shelter and let me speed up again until it stop raining yeah now they are going back to work as the sky get cleared all right now oh, what happened to this guy why isn't he okay maybe right yeah maybe what what happened here is this for some reason if this get failed we should finish execute without success so this should prevent character getting stuck let's see <coughs> yeah okay right now it's working okay so the system is working as intended and i think we can stop this episode right here so thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon card See you in another episode. Goodbye.